this video is just going to give you a really brief overview of what the nude upside looks like. So enough of me talking, I'm going to go ahead and screen share with you guys and then you can actually see it for yourselves. So basically I want to start off with telling you guys what Dubsado is just in case anybody here doesn't know. So Dubsado is an all-in-one business management suite. So um, it lets you handle project management, contracts, questionnaires, invoices, you name it, the whole client process can be handled from within Dubsado. So it's it's amazing. No more bouncing around from tool to tool um, if that's what you've been doing so far. Instead, it's all in one place. Now, this is a trial account that I've made just so I can show you around Dubsado. So let's jump in by starting with the page that I'm on right now, which is the dashboard. So as you can see at the top here, you've got a revenue section. So you've got a place where you can set monthly or yearly revenue goals um, and track your progress. You can see how much money all of your current jobs add up to, and you can compare what you made this month to what you made last month. Then if we move on down to this monthly calendar, you'll basically see that you can look at your entire calendar right here from the dashboard and you can sync Dubsado with your external calendars. So if you use something like Apple Calendar or Google Calendar, you can import the tasks from there into Dubsado like I have here. You can see these orange tasks. Um, the orange ones basically mean that they've been imported. So if we scroll down, you'll see a financial summary. So you'll be able to see your income, your expenses and your profit right from your dashboard. And on the right hand side, you'll see a tasks section. So instead of you having to go over to the projects tab or the tasks tab to create tasks for your projects, you can create them right from the dashboard if you want to. Then we move on to the projects section itself. And here you can view your leads and your jobs. So for anyone who doesn't know, a lead is a potential client and a job is basically a booked client. And this page shows you some really handy information like when the job was created, who the client is, the date the project will start and how much the project um, is, so how much it's worth. You'll also be able to view whether the contract has been signed or not, whether there is a workflow added to the project and also um, the status of the project, as you can see right here. So a status basically tells you where the client is in your process. So are they a past client, a current client, a booked client? Um, are they unsuitable and so on. Uh, if you're inside my course, like I know somebody said they were earlier, I walk you through how to create your own statuses in that. But for now, this is just an overview. So I'm just gonna move on for now by actually clicking on one of these test projects because there's so much more information to them as you can see on the screen here. And by the way, guys, if you have any questions about Dubsado, go ahead and pop them in a comment. Okay, so as you can see on this page, if you scroll down the left, you've got lots of client information. And there's this custom mapped job fields section, which basically allows you to put information that you need at hand um, and you need to be able to quickly and easily access it. You can add that to the sidebar of your project. Now you don't have to use this sidebar um, just to store login information. That's just an example way that I have used it. Um, you can use it to store any kind of really vital information that you need to be able to access quickly and easily. And again, that's, that's something that I show you how to do inside the course. And up, up at the top of the page, you can see that you can view all of the emails that you and your clients send between each other. Um, so in case anybody doesn't know, you can sync your email address to Dubsado so that you don't have to log into Gmail, for example, to be emailing your clients. But instead, you can just manage all of your emails inside of Dubsado itself. And you can also, of course, handle invoices, any forms that you send the client, like questionnaires, for instance, uh, appointments, workflows, which I'll tell you a bit more about later tasks and notes. 
So as you can see, it's a really robust um, system, but it's also really simple to use, really convenient to use. And you can manage your entire project just from this tab in Dubsado. Okay, so moving on to the accounting tab here. Um, basically, in a nutshell, you can click invoices and you can view all of the invoices that you've sent to all of your clients. You can view every transaction that has been made. You can view your chart of accounts. So that basically means your income and your expenses. And if you're more of a visual person like I am, then you can go ahead and click on the reports tab and you can view your income and expenses and other data in more of a visual style. So then we go on to the next tab, which is the calendar, which I've already pretty much showed you on the dashboard. And then there's this tasks section, which again, I also kind of showed you on the dashboard, but basically you can come in here and you can create tasks for any of your projects. You can assign them to a project and you can give them an assignee. So it can either be yourself or one of your team members. Then we'll move on to utilities. Okay, so it starts to kind of get really fun from here. Um, the utilities section, here is your forms list. So all of the forms that your clients have filled out, every one of them is listed right here. And it's also um, directly on the project itself. Then there's this address book, which has all of your clients information. And basically when a client fills out your contact form on your website, right when they first go to get in touch with you, um, their information will be stored in the address book um, right here automatically, but you can go ahead and manually add clients information as well. Then we've got this time tracker tool, which basically allows you to track the time that you've spent on each project by clicking this green play button. Then Dubsado will calculate based on your hourly rate, how much you should be charging. So you can go ahead and you can track the time that you spend on your projects. You can even exit Dubsado, do your work, come back in and click stop. And basically what Dubsado will then do is give you this green button here that says apply to invoice. And you can go ahead and apply that time that you spent on the project to the invoice um, super, super easily. So then we go on to the most fun section and it's the section that people often get um, a little bit confused by or a little bit overwhelmed by, but I assure you there is nothing to be overwhelmed by in this section. It's the most fun section of Dubsado. We've got the scheduler, which is coming soon. Um, so I can't really tell you too much about that until that's released. Then we've got the forms section, which is where you create your form templates, such as your contracts, sub agreements, questionnaires, proposals, and more, all of that good stuff. There's even a template library so you can access um, other templates that other creatives have made. Then there is the canned emails section, which a canned email is basically an email script um, that you can use again and again instead of having to send, instead of having to write out the same emails all the time to your clients. So if you find that you are writing out the same information all the time, you can go ahead and create canned responses right here and then you can email those to your clients from Dubsado. And if you are inside my course, all of these canned emails that you see right here on my screen are actually available inside the course for you. So you don't need to go ahead and create your own. I've written them all for you. So it's things like a one year follow up email, um, a six month follow up email, payment reminders and all of those other great handy emails. Okay, so then you've got the packages section, which is basically where you can create your packages and then you can just easily apply them to your invoices. Then there's my favorite section of all inside of Sardo and that's the workflow section. So if you follow a set process, you can use the workflow section to automate parts of it for you. So for example, this one that you see on the screen is a custom one that I've made. It's available for you inside the course if you're in it. And it triggers when someone fills out your contact form. 
So when somebody fills that out, Dubsado automatically sends them a welcome email using the script that I wrote. Then it creates a to-do, uh, reminding you to check if you and the client are a good fit. And then if you tick that to-do off, if you check it as complete, the project status will change to suitable inquiry. And then Dubsado will automatically send the client your contract, your invoice, and a link to schedule a consultation with you. And the workflow does not end there. There are plenty more steps to it, but that's um, just a quick overview of what my custom workflow looks like. And if you're inside the course, go ahead, watch that lesson and download the workflow cheat sheet. You can pretty much just plug it straight into your Dubsado and go. Okay, and the last section inside of the templates section is payment schedules. So if you have multiple payment schedules, just um, put them into this section, create templates, and then you can, you can just basically apply them to your invoices really easily. Okay, so um, that's pretty much it for this section in the sidebar on the left. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you're liking the look of Dubsado so far. But the last thing that I wanted to show you that Dubsado does is client portals, as you can see on this page right here. So your clients will love this. Here's just a quick sneak peek at what my, um, my pretend client portal looks like because I made this really quickly just as an example for you guys. But here you can customize your client portal with your own logo, colors, and your own photography. And here your clients can stay just as organized as you are. So they can view their emails in here, they can view files, they can view forms, invoices, contracts, and anything else that's related to the project. Remember, if you choose to use Dubsado, you can get 20% off of your first month on a paid plan if you use the code Nisha. If you're watching this on YouTube, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button below so that you never miss another video and give this video a thumbs up just so that YouTube knows that it's a good video and help more people to see it.